All righty, uh, we're going to be installing this uh, nice wall light here. I'm uh, maintaining a very nice luxury apartment complex, and this room does not have any light in it, and it's a bedroom. So we're going to use some wire mold to add this light. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. For branch circuits, black is live, white is neutral, the bare of the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a split loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So we're going to be coming off of a switched outlet to uh, control this light. this outlet here. So we do have a lot of wires in this box here. We have a wire going into the living room here. Without a grommet on it. And there's no wire nut on the ground wires here. Take this off here. This place wasn't done too badly here. So this is our switch loop here. Take this all out off. Wow, look how poor those wires are around that screw there. That's not a very good connection. I might be able to just pull that off. No, a few of the strands are under there, so open that up.
Okay, they used an orange wire for the ground here because it's copper color, I guess. So what I'm fixing here is they put this part in here. without a, a bushing in it to protect it from uh, the sharp edges here because the wire can push on these uh, sharp edges here and cause damage. So we're gonna put this little grommet piece in here. Like that. Now that wire coming through here will be protected. back on the wall here with our wires in. Now we have our wires properly protected here. Just gotta put a green screw up here to bond to our box. Nope, it's not gonna fit. So we're not gonna frustrate. I can use a screw and a nice thick nut for a, uh, uh, the ground screw doesn't fit, so we'll put a screw in here and we'll do it this way. nice and long so we'll come up around here go around the screw like that get our paper out of here there we 
go. Okay, now we have our switch loop wires here. Out just a bit here, just so we can get a wire mold into there. Okay, so we're going to run a wire mold from this box. It's coming So this is our right angle piece here. So we'll go in here like this. It doesn't fit in there very tight. We don't get, we don't carry on, we don't get flush we just move it on a little bit. Okay, and we'll get Okay, now we have to get all our sharp little burrs off of here so we don't damage our wires underneath the uh, and that end is the factory end. And now we'll cut a short piece to go up to our light.
Okay, this will be our short piece to go up to our light. Make sure we don't have any sharp burrs in here that can cut the wire. Okay, so this piece is going to go up to our light. And this piece is going to go over. I'm going to make sure I bring my uh, edges out on this. So this piece is going to go on here like, like this. Like that. This will go in here like this. And we'll get it on here so it's straight. We gotta get our box plate up here. So we'll test, let's put it on here. Sure it goes down in the way we want it. It doesn't seem to want to cooperate, so I have to maybe bend this out a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Something doesn't go right, you don't get frustrated, you just keep playing with it. There it is. We got it in. Stick it up here like this. Now we can screw this box to our wall here. Make sure it's nice and straight here.
Okay, I have to move this up just a bit because it's crooked, so. There's still there's plenty of room to get it the right way there. It's all nice and tight. Now we can start feeding our wires through. Okay, I'll make sure I'm in my track here so I don't pinch my wires while I put the cover on here. Okay, so we got this one on. And we'll come down here.
see we got that on there at all. Yep, do you have a couple so a couple more sheet rock screws? Oh, oh shit, probably. You should have texted me. Well, um, I'm recording, so I can't. Oh, hello, recording. Uh, anyway, okay. I'll cover. Good. Uh, a couple of them. Uh, a good switch. Yep. Good switch, good. Uh, Not that's the right switch. Yep. Yeah, that is the right switch. Okay. So I got the other side, too. Okay, good. See, sheet rock screws, or if you're just kicking around here. Um, Oh, those are all your screws, huh? Yeah. No, if nobody can help me with my backup videos, I'll just have to be happy with kilobytes. Yeah, there you go. Um, I hate going up and down the stairs. Let me see if I can find where you Oh, okay. Garbage. Got something. I only need like two of them. And you know what? I won't even frustrate over them. I'll just be thankful I have kilobytes and. Just keep going and keep putting them on the CD until it's full and then close it out. Well, I'll have to bring you up a couple. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Sorry, buddy. Oh, okay. ground wire to our box here. So I'll bring it up, bring it up, around our green screw here like that. Make sure it's around the screw head, under the screw head all the way around. Now we're going to stick our cover, our box on here. Which two holes are I going to? Making sure I'm in my track all the way around here. Okay, here's four. Okay. That way you got a couple extra for the future. Okay, one, two. I'm put them right over here by this. Or actually, I'll put them right here. Yep, right there. Thank you. Okay. Now, if I ever had a problem, like if I lost a video on YouTube and I could upload it off of one of those kilobytes, right. could I, would Industrial Color Labs be able to uh, convert it back to gigabytes? No, because that's a, that's a shortcut. The kilobytes is a shortcut, which leads into the original video, which you went ahead and deleted. Yes, it, it is deleted. Get a, a modern phone has a lot of space on it. That yeah. Way you don't have to delete the video. But I, I make videos almost every single day, though. Right. So I have to delete them after I upload them, but I move them onto my... Yeah, you'll have to get, get yourself a backup hard drive, that's all. Yep. I, four terabytes. Yeah, that's, that's what I, I have. I have a four terabyte hard drive. And that's what you just put it all on. Yeah, that's why I've been putting them on. Or just you know, put them on YouTube, it's, they're there. You don't need to keep them. 
But like if it gets deleted off of YouTube. Which won't happen if you're smart. You know what I mean? I mean if somebody flags and it gets deleted. Oh, I hope they don't flag your videos. That's not good. Like if they say copyright and they delete it. Well, you don't have any copyright and stuff. Though. Oh, well, I have a, a lot of like uh, cover bands. Oh, well, that usually doesn't get flagged. All right, I'll see you later, but I'm going to put this other thing on. i got to get down. Okay. I'll see you later. Huh? Okay. So we're going to put these screws down so we can put them into our box. I center this bracket on our box. Okay, make sure it's tight, tight. And I'll bring our ground wire around this green screen here. this. I'm going to use our ground wire, so I'm going to loosen this so I can get my ground wire connected. So I'm going to like that. Okay, it comes with three orange wire nuts. So we'll start with our ground wire here. Get them lined up here. Put our wire nut on there. Bring it out this way and get a better twist on it. There we go, we got a nice twist. It's really short, but it fits. Okay, we'll get this nice and straight into here. Like this. On any, so we'll strip our wires longer so we get a nice wrap around our solid wire. So 
So I'm going to bring my uh, insulation up even to the bottom like that. Bring my strands down like this. Wrap them around like this. Get all our copper even at the end. And our insulation is even at the bottom like this. We'll put our wire nut on, make sure our insulation goes up into the bottom of the wire nut. Like that, our insulation is up into the bottom of the wire nut. We'll do the same with our black wire. Make sure our insulation is even at the bottom like this. Bring my strands down like that. Wrap them around the solid wire like this. Now make sure all my strands are down. Copper even at the bottom, insulation even at the top. Take my wire nut, twist it on, make sure the insulation goes up into the bottom of the cap. And see how I get a nice little twist at the bottom here? That's how I like my connections to be made. So I'll take our little fancy knobs off here. Make sure all our wires go into the box. Now we can put it on this way, or we can put it on this way. But we'll put it on this way so the tenants can change the bulbs easy. So we'll just stick our wires into our box. Stick our globe on here. Goes on like this. And you just take this little plastic ring and you just thread it on the ceramic socket there. If it gets caught, it gets caught. You don't get frustrated. And it feels like it's caught. And you know what? I'm not going to frustrate. I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to curse Jehovah. I praise Jehovah. I worship him. And if I can't do it, I will just have somebody else. I will just ask somebody else to get that ring on there. But fortunately, it's gone. It's not going up all the way. But I'm not getting upset. I'll just take it off. It usually is the simplest thing that's mo the most difficult, but I am not going to get upset and I'm not going to curse my Heavenly Father. I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave that to somebody else. I'm not frustrated. Okay, we bought a deeper box. Because we have this connector in the back here.
we got a lot of more fashion down. I'll just score it lightly down the middle here, just very lightly. And I'll go deeper down here at the end. Now put a wire nut on your ground wires. Okay, we'll push this back into our box like this. Get it out of our way. So this is our white switch wire. So we're going to connect it with these black wires. Okay, so we're going to connect our black feed wire. Oh, you know what? Thank you, Lord, for having me forget this ground wire. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to praise your, your precious name. Praise his precious name. Praise the precious name of Jehovah. Praise him. Praise him for everything I forget. I just want to worship you, Lord, and thank you for everything I forget. Amen. Praise his name. Praise the blessed, wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jehovah. Praise his holy name. Just praise his holy name. I love you, Lord, for having me forget things. Because it's a challenge. Thank you, Lord, for letting me Leave the keys in the door and not know where they are. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name. I praise your name for everything I forget. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. Okay, so we got that in here. Now we'll take her. This piece of metal came down. I want to push it back up, but if I can't, I can't. Yep, it went up. There it is. It's up where it should be now. So we're going to get... All of our black wire is ready to go here. Okay, we have our, our black feed wire. It's going to go to our white switch wire. Our black wire that goes to these outlets down here.
Okay, so we're going to take our, our black feed wire. We're going to go to the white switch wire, the black to this outlet, and the black to the outlets downstream. So we need all our insulation even at the bottom here. We have a stranded wire. I want to get it so that they're nice and straight. Get them all nice and even like this. See how I got them all even on the bottom here? They're all even on the bottom. So I'll just take my wire knot and I'll just start turning it gently so it grabs all the wires. I'm not going to cram down on it because I don't want to mess the strands up. And I'll take my pliers here and I'll turn this until it gets nice and tight. Okay. So... Here we go, we'll fold this into our box. We'll bend it down so it goes into our box like this. So we have our ground over here. Now we have our black one coming back from our switch. That's gonna to go to the black one that goes up to our light. Okay, we got it a little uneven here, so I'm going to bring it up so it's even like that. We'll clip them so they're even. Put our wire nut on. Our insulation goes into the bottom of the wire nut. Here we go. It's nice and tight. And now we can get all our whites together to go to our outlet up here. Okay, the reason the black feed wire goes to the white switch wire is so that the black is live going up to the light. So we'll fold this back into our box. Get down in here out of our way. So this is what will go to our outlet. We'll get this white wire straightened out here. And we'll strip this slightly longer here. insulation even at the bottom. Get all our copper even at the end and our insulation even at the bottom like this. And we'll just take our wire knot and we'll just twist it, let it grab all the wires. We have two different sizes here, but it is on a 15 amp circuit breaker, so the 14 is okay. Okay, so now we can fold this back into our box here. Okay, so this is a nice deep box. So we got to break out the bottom one here. This bottom one. And this middle one. This will go in here like this.
I like how they give us extra screws, so I save them. I love how I can't see. I thank the Lord that I can't see. Because the challenge to struggle. Just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Praise your name. Just praise your name, Lord. That's all I want to do is just praise your name, Lord. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. You can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. There it goes. Tight. Tight. Make sure our wires are all back out of the way so nothing is pinched. And now we can hook our outlet up. We'll take about an inch off of each wire here. So here in the country I was born in, your black wire goes on the brass screw, which is the narrow slot. Your white goes on the silver screw, which is the wider slot. The bare wire goes on the green screw, or if it's a green wire, you put it on the green screw. So we'll close the screws we're not using. We'll start with our white and our brown wire. We'll put it around our screw to direction. Our, oh, I clipped it a little long. Close our loop to direction our screw turns. Tighten it up, and that's what we want. We'll make sure the copper is under the screw head all the way around.
Now this outlet's going to be live all the time, and the switch loop is just for the light up above here. There we go. I'll bring it down this way and we'll get our black wire on the brass colored screw. You always put your wire around the screw the direction the screw turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to just double check my screws over here, make sure they're tight. Okay, now we can fold our wires into the box. We'll go up and back with our black and white like this. And we're going to keep our ground wire up on this end so it stays away from everything. So I zag it like that and keep it over here and push it back that way. And I'll just put our screws in. I'll use a cover screw here because I don't want to hit a wire, a short one. You can see there's no wire in the way of it. And now we can put our cover on the outlet. So that is how to install a uh, wall light from a switched outlet here in the country I was born in. So when they come in, they can turn the switch on and have a nice wall light rather than having a, a switched outlet. And now I will show you the instructions in the box that the light came in. Peace. Thanks for watching. You just have to put a bulb in it.